So he created you in binaries. And he created the animals in binaries. And this is again reiterated in Surah Yasin. Subhanalladhi khalaqal azwaja kullaha mimma tumbit al-ard wa min anfusihim wa mimma la ya'lamun. So he created everything in binaries. So who's a non-binary? Laysa kamithri hi shay. So isn't it interesting that people want to be called non-binaries? In other words, they want to be called God. You can't be a non-binary. Allah made you in a binary uh, condition and you can't get out of that. No matter how hard you try, you cannot get out of that. You're either a male or a female or you're a mushkil. And then interestingly enough, and I will say this, Imam at tahanawi and I don't know how he came up with this. Imam at tahanawi in his famous book on the mustarahat, when he talks about homosexuality, he said, homosexuality is either tabi'i and then he says, ay jabilli, it's something that is uh, somebody's born with. Or he says it's min al It's something that they have accustomed themselves to. So he actually acknowledges that there are people that are born with this um, predilection. And then, he and then he says it could be uh, for reasons, and he talks about the possible reasons, sometimes related to the parents' relationship or the, the sexual practices of the parents. Um, but then he says that, and then there are those who only are attracted to the same sex, and then there are those who are attracted to both sexes. So he identifies the bisexual. 250 years ago, he identifies the bisexual. And then he says something extraordinary that I thought. He says, some of these people are outwardly in the form of men, but in reality, they're women. So there are people in the world that feel they're in the wrong body, which is an immense tribulation. And historically, Muslims were actually, they, these people are very marginalized in Muslim societies, but Muslims were actually quite tolerant of them. They didn't, uh, you know, they, I mean, you'll find these people that they go to weddings and they, um, even in Mauritania, they, they have these people. So these are like mushkid people. But my point being is that Allah is telling us here that we created you, Allah created us in binaries. And you, 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 you have to, you cannot say you're a non-binary if you're a Muslim. You can't say that. It's just not, it's not, it's not acceptable as a Muslim. Now people are going to say, who are you to tell me what's acceptable as a Muslim? Well, I mean, okay, then we just give up religion. It doesn't mean anything. If religion is only what anybody says it is, then what is the religion? It doesn't mean anything. So now you're in pure relativism. And I personally, as somebody that's in a tradition that uh, was inherited and transmitted and, and handed down, and I'm just a steward. We're caretakers, and, I'm, I'm, and I'll be the first to admit I'm, I'm a lousy steward compared to the people that went before. I'll be the first to admit that. But... This is what we have. This is what I was given. My shiuch taught me, and then I'm supposed to teach other people, and then people are going to come after me, and they'll teach. And then, inshallah, I, you know, it's a great honor to be a link in a chain, but that's all you are. And if, if you're a weak link, you know, that's uh, tragic for you. But my point is, there is a normative Islam. You can't just make up the religion and say what you think it is or what you want it to be, because it's called Islam which means submission. It's not called uh, whatever I want. That's not the name of the religion. It's called Islam. What are you submitting to if you decide what it is? What are you submitting to? I mean, that's a question for people to ask themselves.